Hi, in this quick tip we're going to take a look at modulator gate modes. The gate modes are accessible through the drop-down menus underneath each modulator, the LFOs, the envelopes and the ramp. Or they can be changed using the knobs next to the drop-down menus. The different gate modes affect exactly how each modulator is triggered. The first thing we should discuss is the re-trigger button here. The re-trigger button is a global way to get all the modulators to re-trigger together. In order for this to work properly, all the modulators must be in poly mode, which they are by default. So I've got a little baseline here in Ableton Live, and you'll notice that currently re-trigger mode is off. So let's play it. Now you'll notice that I've got modulation envelope 1 affecting the filter cutoff and it's clearly audible. The second thing you'll notice is that on groups of notes where one note overlaps another such as three, these three here, the envelope only triggers on the first note. That's because retrig mode is currently off. Let's turn it on and hear the difference. We can clearly hear that the envelope is retriggered for every single note. Now let's take a look at the individual modulator's gate modes. We've already looked at poly mode. Poly mode will obey the master retrigger button here. So if it's on, each note will retrigger. Poly on mode will ignore the master retrigger button and force the envelope to retrigger on every note, like so. So even though I've got the master retrigger mode off, this envelope is retriggering for every note. All the other modulators won't be because the master retrigger mode is off and they're in poly mode. Mono mode works the exact opposite way. It forces that particular modulator not to retrigger if there's already a note held down. So even though I've got master retrigger enabled here, the fact that this is in mono mode means that it ignores the retrigger button and we have monophonic envelopes. A good use of mono mode is when using the arpeggiator. If I switch the arpeggiator on and we have it in normal poly mode, the envelope re-triggers for every note. If I put the envelope in mono mode, because I'm holding down three notes on the keyboard, the envelope is staying closed until I release them all and press a new note. So even though there are lots of notes firing off with the arpeggiator, there's only one envelope affecting the filter cutoff across all of them. Other nice modes are ramp mode. In ramp mode, the envelope will be triggered by the ramp modulator. It's a great way of delaying an envelope trigger. By having the delay set high, the attack portion of the envelope. Finally for this envelope we've got LFO mode. That'll trigger the envelope for every cycle of LFO1.
Just in the same way you can trigger an envelope with an LFO, you can also trigger an LFO with an envelope. The final option we've got, and I'll have to show you this on envelope 2, is song mode. Song mode will cause the envelope to trigger just once when you press play in your transport in your host. And those are the modulator 